one of my girls, Courtney, she uh, was uh, with a John and she texted me saying that he was hurting her. They were over here in the Jack Thomas parking lot. During that time, I was with one of my homeboys and I told him what was going on and me and him went up there to Jack and Box and he took care of him for me. All right, welcome back everybody. We're back in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada in the Naked City area and we are here with Jessica. How are you doing? Good. Jessica, do you give us permission to use this video on our YouTube channel? Yes. Thank you so much. Um, can you tell us your current situation? Uh, what drugs are you using? Um, how you survive out here? And where do you live? I'm homeless. I use crystal. And uh, I've been surviving out here with, uh, basically with my girls paying me with they, you know. Okay, your girls pay you? Okay, yeah, uh -huh. we talked about that. You're also known out here as the Naked City Madame. Mm -hmm. um, you're well known around here. Um, so can you tell us uh, what that job entails? Are you basically, basically you're like a pimp? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, what, what, what do you do? I basically, I protect the girls more. Um, okay. If they need like hygiene stuff done, or if they need clothing or food, or if I have money or cigarettes, I put, I uh, supply them with all that stuff okay. as I can. Now, do you also protect them? Yes, I do, and um, I'm not with the person that I was with before. Yeah, they um, was my my go-to guy. We're getting divorced, but I have other gentlemen that are there for me and my girls when you know. Okay. Um, can you give us an example of a time when um, you had to use physical force uh, on uh, John? The other night, my, uh, home, my, one of my girls, Courtney, she uh, was uh, with a John and she texted me saying that he was hurting her. So Now me, she texted you while he, she was with him? Yeah. And what, where were they at? They were over here in the Jack Thomas parking lot. Oh, in a car? Yeah, in a car. And she texted you to come help her? Yeah. Okay, what did you do? Um, during that time, I was with one of my homeboys and I told him what was going on and me and him went up there to Jack and Box and he had he got her out of the car and I took her away and he, I don't know, he doubted that. Oh, he took care of him? He took care of him for me. So is this common where you have to do this, protect the girls? Um, it hasn't been that much lately, but yet yeah, there's been a lot of dirty people, dirty guys around here that have you know, forced us on a lot of the girls. So yeah, it's been off and on during the so holidays. You, so you are like a, a female pimp. Yeah. So now are you uh, now are you a nice pimp? Are you like a gorilla pimp? Do you ever slap your girls or? Um, no. If they do me if they do me wrong, it's all that you slap them. I uh, I basically whip them in shape. You know what I mean? They okay. they know if I get to that point that they 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 all know that. It's not good because I, you know, I, I mean, I don't like physically punch them, but you yeah. know, like I'll bop them inside their head, say, hey, you know what, you're doing, you know, doing something wrong, or yeah. you're not doing it right, and they, they actually. Have you had girls steal from you? Um, not yet. Okay. Um, because my girl Courtney, she, she tells all the girls that, um, because she's very, I, they're very close, and she tells them, they, um, if they do, you know, I mean, I don't push them away, but I tell them that I won't protect them anymore because I can't have, you know, them stealing from me and not, you know, trusting them, so. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, let's say a girl, uh, Courtney, or someone else makes $100. How much of that do you get? I get 40 of it. You get 40, she keeps get 60? Yep. Okay, you have a case, you have situations where uh, you caught the girl um, taking more? I haven't yet. Okay. Um, but a lot of my girls are very, very, um, honest with me. Okay. Like if they say, hey, I can only, I made this much, I can only give you 20. Yeah. And I tell them, I'll ask them why, and they'll tell me, you know. Yeah. Like with Courtney one night, she made $100, and she goes, I need to send money to my mom. I was okay. like, okay. Because her mom is very sick in uh, California. Okay. And uh, uh, she's like, I can only give you 20 bucks, I need to send mom 40. And I tell her, that's fine. And I tell her, go as long as you're honest with me why you can't give me the money, up, you know, the right yeah. amount of money, then that's fine. But if you lie to me about it, then I'll find out eventually and it's not good. So you're compassionate, madame? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm very compassionate. Yeah. That's what sets you apart. You're very nice. I've known you for a while now. Yeah. 
Take you just one. been hiding out from me. Didn't want to do an interview. <laughs> and you're some around some scary figures, so I can't really. Uh, no, I've been around. Yeah, I've been. Uh, and this is a scary area. It is. It's hard. Well, you're areas. well protected, right? Yeah. And it seems like it's a tight knit little community here. Yeah. So everyone's taken care of. Yeah. Um, and no violence around here with the women or the homeless people? Um, there's a lot. Um, there's been a lot of shootings around here lately. Oh, okay. A lot of shootings. Yeah. Um, I had a homeboy that shot somebody not long ago. Okay. Um, I knew a girl, they got her face blown off right down, you know. And yeah, it's been getting pretty bad up here, especially through the holidays. It's been really bad. All right, Jessica, when did you first discover drugs? I was 16. Okay. And was it because of a boyfriend? Was no, it a trigger? No, um, I wanted to try it. My dad let me. Now, why did you want to try it? Who was doing it that you that My you boyfriend and my daddy. See, I knew it was a boy. So your boyfriend was doing it. What was he doing? Uh, he was smoking it. Okay, and you observed it and yeah. you wanted to try it? Yeah. Okay, that's the first time. Yep. And you tried it and you got hooked. Yep. If you could go back to that day, well, if you could go back to your childhood, what would you change? Everything. Which is what? Not using drugs and finishing high school. How would you avoid using the drugs, not dating that guy? Just not dating that guy. Date a square. Yeah. When you were in school, uh, what kind of student were you? You said earlier that um, you didn't graduate. No. Were you in special ed classes? Yes. Okay. Was it the, um, were you getting extra tutoring, extra yeah, my, modified assignments? My teacher, Mrs. Williams, would help me out to school. Yeah, who was your favorite teacher? Mrs. Williams. Okay. And she would help me out to school with a lot of my um, classes, or homework assignments. Was she a special ed teacher or was she a regular no, teacher? No, she's a regular teacher. General ed? Okay. And every Thursday I would go down to, um, Talked to my grandmother. She would take me down to the place called Scottish Rights, and they would. All right, shout out to Miss Williams. Yeah. She's still alive, do you know? No. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. So, uh, what kind? Besides the besides the fact that you dropped out, what kind of student were you? Bees and C's. Okay. What were your dreams as a child? To be a CNA. CNA? Yeah. That could still be done. Did you ever get your GED? No, again? I work at all that. Are you? Um, are you really? If you yeah. need any help, let me know. Right. I can uh, guide you on that. Okay. So you had a loving family, as far as your grandparents go, yeah. and then what was your what was your dad and mom situation like? Um, my dad was more of my life than my mom was. Okay. Were you um, ever abused? Um, yeah, by my stepdad. Sexually or physically? By my stepdad, I was sexually and physically abused. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. When did that stop? When my dad took full custody of me. Okay. Did you receive counseling and therapy yeah. for all that? Did it help? It did. Did it? Yeah. Do you still have nightmares or uh, think about it at all? No. Do you think that affected you a little bit? A little bit, yeah. I used to be very, uh, I used to be in a shell. Okay. Around a lot of guys. Yeah. Because of it, but I'm slowly coming out of my shell and trusting oh, guys more. Okay. So you started doing drugs at 16. Yeah. And you're still doing it. Was there any period of, was there any, was there yes. a period of sobriety? I had, when I was 22. Okay. I went into treatment because um, my son got taken away from me and I was pregnant with my um, second daughter. Okay. Hmm. So I went to Auburn, California, uh, treatment up there and uh, that's how I met my ex and I was clean for like two years. Okay. And then um, I got clean in 2015 again to try to get our daughter back and um, I stayed clean for five years. Oh, you did? Five yeah. years? Uh -huh. Okay. How did you stay clean? What did you do? I was in A meetings and I also went to uh, drug and counseling. Did you sponsor anyone? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. So those people depended on you? Yeah. And you helped a lot of people out back. I did. You have a great story. Yeah. Five years, you can do it again. I can. I see it in you. I, I need off the street. I've known you for what, about four months now? Not that, Trying yeah. to get an interview? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're looking a lot better. Thanks. Uh, do you want to get out of this lifestyle? I do. You do? Okay. Um, what do you want to do? I want, well, I've had so many opportunities to see my oldest son and my oldest daughter. Okay. And my ex has totally messed up me, so I really want to get off the streets and get a home so I can yeah. see my babies. You want to see your babies? Yeah. Okay. I had opportunity actually this month yeah. to see my son and my daughter because my son wants to transfer up here to uh, Nevada, Nevada State. Oh, he's in college. Yeah, he's a uh, he's at Cal State right now. Yeah. And uh, he's a baseball player. Wow. He's a pitcher for Cal State. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I've um, known you for about six months, yeah. and I, I see it in you. I think you can do it. Um, so you look so much better than before. Yeah. You were um, you were tweaking back then, right? I was. I was really bad. Okay. And you're not on uh, anything right now. Uh, okay, you just happen to be homeless, unfortunately. I'm homeless, unfortunately, because I guess it really prior to this, my um, my husband has been doing me really dirty. He's sold two of my SSI checks for me. I did. So um, I haven't had the money to. Okay, yeah. now. You told me before that you did work the streets back in the day? I did there for a minute when he first disowned me. Okay. Um, and then uh, I was in the hospital for a while because I got a really bad back accident, so. Yeah. Now you told me you're, you have a dad too that lives in Laughlin. You stay uh, with him sometimes? I'm not, I had recently I stayed with him because um, after I got to the hospital, he came and got me from the hospital. Yeah. I stayed with him for like two months. My dad's my everything. Okay. Um, my ex is trying to come between that and I can't. My father's my best friend. Father's the best yeah, friend. Yeah, okay. I understand a little, you know, so. Yeah. We have a weird, we have a very weird bond that people don't understand, but it's just our bondage, you know. So. Yeah, he lives in Laughlin. I go to Laughlin all the time. Yeah. I probably know who he is. Yeah, he works at the Gold Nugget as a security guard. What do you want people to know about you that are watching this? Um, Tell us the real Jessica. I'm a loving, caring person, and um, I love everybody, unless, you know, you hurt me. Um, yeah. I wanted to work out my relationship with my husband after 19 years, but it's not going to work, so okay. I had to let it go, and it's hard. Yeah, let it go. Um, and I make people happy, you know, I'm always yeah. there for people that need me. We talked earlier, you said that your family was involved with the motorcycle gang, yeah. uh, Hells Angels, and they were somewhat racist. Uh, did you grow up um, hating different races? No, I didn't. I love everybody equally. What about your parents? Didn't, weren't they a little uh, racist? My stepdad was, but not my dad. My dad, okay. yeah. So you love everybody? Yeah. Uh, do you date out of your race? Yes. So you have dated out of your race. Yes. You've dated a uh, black gentleman, yeah. Hispanic gentleman. And Native American. And a Native American, okay. Uh -huh. That's interesting. Um, you grew up in a racist environment. Yeah. But you chose not to go that route. No. Commend you for that, that's awesome. It's not cool, you know what I mean? How do you raise your kids? Do you also raise them that way? Yeah. Okay, to love everybody? Yeah, my, my, my stepdaughter, my stepdaughter, my soon-to-be daughter-in-law. Um, yeah. I'm gonna be a grandma too yeah. on Christmas Day. Um, my soon-to-be daughter-in-law. She's um, she's Native American, so uh -huh. I haven't met her yet, but um, awesome. they're gonna be here soon. Yeah. What's the best thing about your life right now? I have people that care about me and protect me when I need them. Awesome. You know, like. Um, What's the best thing that anyone's ever done for you? I'd say my homeboy down the street. He was there for me when I need him. Um, when. Uh, my ex decided to leave me again, and it was freezing, 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 freezing cold, and he let me stay with him in his little house, you know, his place. Okay. Yeah, and he does it every once in a while, he'll let me stay with him. Okay. Yeah. What's the best thing that you've ever done for anybody? I'll just see my girl Courtney, protecting her, and being there for her when she needed me. Okay, oh, that girl Courtney. Yeah. Okay. What about when you were growing up, like you know, in your younger days? Uh. Because I know you're a caring person. Well, think about it. My children. I care a lot about my children. You raise them well. I raise them well, but not how, much, how old are they? Okay, uh, twenty-one. He, uh, he, twenty-one, twenty, seventeen, thirteen, uh, ten, okay. six, and almost two. You have six children. Eight. You have eight children. Uh, okay, from how many fathers? Two. Oh, just two. Okay. Yeah. Now, when you're out of their lives, who was, who was raising them? My oldest three, okay, my first uh, born, he's in, uh, he was in foster care uh, with his sister, my third daughter, and then my second daughter, my first daughter is in Ocalifor uh, Ocala, Florida. Okay. She's raised by a really good, a really good girl, lady, that was unable to have babies. So I let her, let her husband adopt her so they can have a child. And then my other, my, Youngest four are with my ex-husband's uh, 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 sister and okay. niece. Jessica, do you have a, a email you can share with us or a social media? Yeah, I have Facebook. How, do someone, how can and someone get It's Jessica Jones. Just Jessica Jones? Yeah. J-E-S-S-I-C-A? -S -S yeah, and there might be some derogatory uh, stuff on there, but that's not for me, that's for my ex-husband. What is it? He put some derogatory things oh, okay. underneath my thing. So. Jessica Jones. And you don't have an email? You don't remember an email? No. Where do you uh, see yourself in two years? I'm hoping to be on the streets and have me and my, my kids' life. 
Okay. Like I said, I have a grandbaby on the way, so I want to be able to be a part of my grandchild's life, so. Okay. So what's the worst thing that's ever happened to you on the streets? Well, prior uh, there and night when I got attacked. Oh, recently? Yeah. I just got attacked there and night. Um, I thought he was a really good friend of mine. Um, he, uh, but obviously he, uh, he wasn't because I quit slamming it and he wanted me to help him and I had a really bad headache and I just don't want to deal with it. I just want to lay down and he didn't want me to so he attacked me but I was able to get away. Yeah. And I came here to my homies here. Yeah. And they were there to, you know, of me. Um, and you then can put your sunglasses back on. I got a really bad bike accident um, about, about five months ago, and I wrecked my bike, and I ruptured my spleen and my appendix, and they took out my spleen. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. But I'm healing. I'm and glad you're in a lot, of, a lot of pain, but you didn't choose to do drugs. So what that. are you on right now? Remind us. What What are you using? I right was using. I, mean, I just use meth. Just meth. Okay. Yeah, I don't do. It's in all, I don't do heroin. I've lost too many people on this stuff. So. Okay, since you're a loving woman, you love kids, yeah. good mother. Yeah. How would you advise a young person to stay away from drugs if they want to get into this party a lot of stuff? They got some friends that are doing it and they want to get into it. How would you advise, how would you scare them straight? Don't do it, because it can kill you. Um, I've lost, within just this past six months, I've lost 14 friends to fentanyl, and uh, it's really hard. It's a killer. Uh, so please just say, you guys, don't do it, because you know what, your life is too short. Your life is too short already. Great right. message. Um, can you describe how the withdrawals feel? When you're coming off and there's no one around to... Uh, uh, I don't know how the withdrawals are, but when I, when I went to jail recently, yeah. I seen the, a couple of girls went to call fentanyl and heroin, yeah. and they were in excruciating pain. Yeah. And um, when I was used be prior to the, you know, before I tried it, but um, I don't, the throwing up is just, it's horrifying, um, that's all you do. Yeah. Some people, I mean, there's also now, there's fentanyl going out here, they have, it's laced with something else yeah. um, that is making people really, really sick. Yeah. One of my girls just got sick their night because of it, so be careful what you get from people. Okay, uh, so it's in those excruciating circumstances when a woman or anybody, even a man, um, is going through those terrible withdrawals, there's no money around, and that's when they sell their bodies, right? Uh, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of... Have you been through that where you're in no, such desperation? I, I don't um, sell my body because um, there's a lot of dangerous men out there and there's a lot of, you know, STDs, okay. so... Do you think if you have a different upbringing, do you think you'd be somewhere else in life? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too late. You're still young. Yep.